the topic of this morning's teaching is the necessity of growth somebody said the necessity of growth i can't hear you i wanted to say it loud say the necessity of growth that means growth is a necessity and is necessary and compulsory for us to grow ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 16 to 17 ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 16 to 17 I want you to say to yourself, say, I will grow. I can't hear you say, I will grow. Say, it is compulsory for me to grow. Say, oh, it's a must for me to grow. Thing for me not to grow. Growth is a necessity. Who is reading Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 16 to 17 from? Ecclesiastes chapter 10. hallelujah he said woe to thee did you see woe there he said woe woe to thee O land woe to thee O land no woe he said when thy king is a child no woe to the king woe to thee O land I want you to write part look at me part of understanding the necessity of growth is take response is taking responsibility of informations that contribute to growth taking responsibility of informations that leads to growth as in you are not just listening to the person speaking every word that concerns your growth you accept it as a part of um, the the activities in the workshop to make you grow so it's 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 not about the speaker now or the preacher it's about you taking the word or taking the information as part of your tool or instrument of growth i want you to write it down there is a period there's a level and a season that childishness is a woe there is what there's a period there's a level and a season that childishness is a woe children are the heritage of the law Abi, let me finish that scripture and the fruit of the womb is his reward what did the bible say the next one it said blessed is the man that is quiver is full of no so being a child or children they are blessings of the law and the heritage of the law but there's a level there's a season that that same childish or childishness or childhood that's a blessing becomes a woe let's let's play around the synonyms another word for woe woe means great sorrow or distress that's the meaning of woe they're not giving me that's the reason they're not giving you do you know why you see the child because someone that knows how to do that can do it very well and that is not a child knows how to lead from behind it's only a child that doesn't know how to lead from behind or me to self so it's not about what you tell us that you can do that you're not doing it it's about what you are doing at that. that's why to the glory of god anywhere i get to anywhere i get to i don't need permission to to be myself 
and introducing myself is childishness. But I've understood how to do things in a way that what I want to be done will be done. Not stepping on toes. And sometimes step on toes diplomatically. You just notice that. These ushers, they don't arrange this chart very well. Come to tell Pastor or to tell Pastor Smith or the head of Usher. It's childishness. The person that have grown. Sorry, which day do you arrange here? Please, can I join you? He said, ah, yeah, is this uh, okay, okay, okay. And so when they arrange, ah, ah, I want to suggest, can we do it this way? Can we do it this way? And they begin to notice you. And there's vacancy for leadership. And you that have been complaining, complaining, they didn't consider you. Childishness keeps us in bondage. Synonyms of bondage. The meaning of bondage is the state of being a slave. Bondage, slavery, enslavement, servitude, subjugation, subjection, oppression, domination, exploitation, captivity, imprisonment, incarceration, confinement, detention. The Bible said the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of Why is it that the creature is still waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God? Because the sons of God are still child, are still children. They are not your sons. And the Bible is not saying that it is children that will deliver them. It is sons. And they must become sons. Unto us a child is given. A child is born. Unto us a what? A son is given. A son is always a blessing. So they are still waiting. They are still waiting. Do you know why things are not okay in the maker's church? It's because you are not yet doing what you are supposed to do. It's not because the maker's church is not okay. It's be. Do you know why Nigeria is still Nigeria? It's because you have not yet contributed your own quota. It's only when they call for a riot, what's that thing they want to do? Protest! That you are very, very active. You are not constructively active in idea, in anything that will move it forward. It's only in criticism. You are a child. And that's why you always, the person will always be in bondage of leaders listen leadership is not about right or wrong it's a skill satan is a good leader what did i say leadership is a skill it's not about them right or wrong so if you have skillful leaders that have scheme satanic scheme of dark they are lead the criteria for leadership is leadership that is why Till tomorrow in Nigeria, only those that will win election are those that have mastered the act of winning election. It's not about the right person or the wrong person. God servant, our father was teaching. Um, I think 2021, one of his teaching, he said, he said, I fought a good fight of faith. You don't win a fight because it's a good fight. You are winning a fight because you know how to fight. You know how to fight. So if you don't know how to fight, you won't be able to fight a good fight of faith. Unfortunately, those that know how to fight, they don't fight the fight of faith. 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 So there's a level that childishness puts you in bondage of those that are not supposed, those that are supposed to take instructions from you. Because there are many skillful people, people that can do things very well, but they are not leaders. So how will you commit responsibility to a skillful person, but that doesn't know how to lead? You will just use the skill to, to kill them. You will remove the S. 
and he will kill them. So leadership is not about the subject matter. It's about leadership itself. <laughs> what do you say? It's, 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 you must be able to lead. You must be able to lead and listen. Because you are a leader, make you an object to focus for stones, for arrows, for criticism, for everything. Do you know why? You are the one under the spotlight. See, when people celebrate, ah, thank God for coming. God brought you. Ah, in fact, you are God sent. Just check your time. What time is it? Ah, because the day was on break. It will start after some time. The way they will be dealing with you, not be asking. Ah. I don't even want to celebrate. Yeah, it's because dealing with people is part of celebration. <laughs> So if you don't want to be dealt with, don't accept it. Hosanna to the son of David. Crucify him. It's not about your personality. It's a leadership nature. So leadership is the head of elephant. It's not for children. So a child that is have not grown enough to carry the head of elephants will stay in bondage of leadership. What I mean by body of leadership will be subjected to other people's leadership. And it's a bondage because the, the potentials inside of you, you're yearning for expression. There are skills that are what you can do, but you still be under instruction and instructors. And they will prefer for things to be delayed than you to be a disaster as a leader. Ah, don't let us achieve it on time. Just leave it. When it is time, we will do it. Ah, but this person can do it. Yes, he can do it. But can't lead us. So, there's a period, there's a level and a season that challenges us. That's why I said to you this morning, the necessity of growth. Growth is a necessity. You must grow. You must just grow. You must grow. Don't wait for anybody to tell you to grow. You need to grow so that you will not be a woe. You need to grow so that you can come out of bondage. It is maturity that breaks limits. It is maturity that breaks bounds. It is maturity that brings freedom. It is maturity. It is growth. It is growth. Somebody came to church with, uh, is this third, they call it, for hearing? It's third, Abby. Am I right? It's a man. I plated uh, the air and did everything. And I went to meet the person. Hello, sir. You can't stay here. The law of God and the church is against it. Ah, what a display of childishness. Just like our mommy here and some of our elders, when they were still at Songo Day, in the days of Songo, <laughs> there are certain things they do. But when they started growing and getting to a spiral level, it's not as if those things are wrong. But necessity. There are some things you can do if you don't have a child. And the moment you have a child, you will stop doing them because of your child or your children. Not because they are wrong. That is what is called maturity. There are some things that. So when a man now remain for 15 years in the Maker's Church, and nothing happened, then become a woe and a concern. Don't stay too long at that level. Grow. Tell somebody beside you, grow. 
it's a sin for you to meet me where you left me it's a sin oh okay it's a sin i left my house on uh, tuesday morning i go back yesterday morning and when i go back yesterday morning i see carry all of them they still went to uh lake i said Carrie, it's a sin it's a sin for you to meet me where you left me the last person that saw me was a marachi is a different person you should see in this money if i leave my wife if I, when i left my wife on tuesday she saw a different person on saturday when you commit to growth commit to development you want to know what you don't know you subject yourself to systems that shape you and change you Now, the next one I want to talk about, how did the Bible des describe or define babies? How? First Corinthians chapter 3, verse 1 to 9. Verse 1 to 3. Read 1 to 3. First Corinthians chapter 3, 1 to 3. And I, brethren, could not speak unto you as unto spiritual, uh -huh. but as unto carnal, uh -huh. even as unto babies. As unto babies. In Christ. Why? I have fed you with milk uh -huh. and not with meat. Not with meat. For he thought all, ye were not able to bear it. You Na can't bear the meat. Why? Na neither yet now are ye able. Even up to now. <laughs> Even up to now. Uh -huh. For ye are yet canal. You are still babies. For whereas there is among you envy and now, strife. It's not defining what is called childishness. Envy and en strife. Envy, strife. And divisions. Division. Are ye not canal? Are ye not babies? And walk as men. And walk. That's a description, a definition of, of childishness. When people are fighting a good cause to achieve great feet and visions, you are fighting small fights. Pastor Smith, do not greet me this morning. The last time he greeted you, how much did he drop in your account? That means if he greeted you and Ah, I wish. I said, if they say okay, if they greet you, money will drop in your account. Will you wait for somebody to greet you? He said, Ah, good money. You are the one that will go and greet. Especially when you know the money in the account of that person. Ah, ah. So if the greeting did not drop money in your account, that means you can't take money for your account. So if he did not greet you, it's an oversight. It's not a reason to fight. Childishness is not about the stature. It's your disposition. It's your reasoning. The way you see things. He said, I can't speak to you as it as is mature. You are can carnality is a definition of childishness in Christendom. There's division among you. There's envy, there's jealousy. Be hungry with your life. Leave people alone. Be angry. Be angry with your life. Be There's a level you get to that your enemies are forced to be at peace with you. Why don't you rather get to that level? I was in a meeting industrial camp and um we are having a conversation it was a very hot argument and uh, deliberation and uh, and the bishop just stood up and said that uh, and they they what we we're talking about is that uh, all this fall and die fall and die fall and die the enemy should die and die and die and you know there's four and there's against there's opinion that ah hey you better kill them before they kill you because when they kill you they will accept jesus and they started proofing and proving scripture, 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 scripture. And Bishop stood up and he said, If your word is potent enough to kill, then you can make a life. So why send it to kill him? Why don't you send him to change him? It's as if Holy Spirit came. Everybody kept quiet. 
have power to kill him. And he would die. And the son of Mark came that may give life and give abundantly. So if I can kill him, I can make him live. I can make him change. So why don't you use that power? And he now, he now handed it. He said, he mediated in the case, police station, and uh, there was this fight, and uh, they now bite each other. So eventually, they have to take the person to the hospital. They said they have to give the, give the person anti rabies. He said, ah, I just call a boot. <laughs> He's not dog that bite. He said, Yes. He said, Because the venom is in the teeth. So there's a dog venom. There is a snake poison. And there is human poison. It's the teeth. So it's anti rabies. Uh, I concluded my anyone that bites is a dog. <laughs> because the same thing they give your horn you may not back. Bo, 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 bo. Or you discover that you may be biting. He said that means if there's so great power in our mouth and our teeth, <laughs> let's use it constructively. Childishness. Envy and all that. Many people are dying because of gossip. We just kill them just like that. When I hear some things about myself sometimes, mommy, I'll be wondering, is it me? I'll be, I'll be, is it not me? I'll be wondering when I hear some things about myself. Not about another person. About myself. I will not be wondering, Abi, Abi, is there any Wali <laughs> Agbola? Uh, so, some some description of action. We had a meeting a few weeks ago, and they said the one of us. They said, "I said no, I don't want to go into hero. No, 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 I don't want to go into hero." And they went to tell her that they said, "I said if I set my eyes on her, I will curse her." Uh, part of you that are saying her, you are the one that said it. He said, he said, if I set my eyes on her, I will cause her. He said, ah. Okay. Did, when did, I, did I say that? I, I was not trying to rewind what I, I was trying. When you become confused of yourself, it's a description. And if I set my eyes on her, I will cause her. I will cause her. I will cause her. My time is gone. <laughs> How can you grow? Let me end it here. How can you grow? And listen closely here. How can you grow? Growth is in a community or ecosystem. There is nothing like growth in isolation. Growth is what? Is in a community. Listen. You remain a child. The Bible says, Woe is unto he that is alone. Abby, is that what the Bible says? And the Bible says, Woe is to the city that is king is a child. Woe is unto you that. That means you are a woe because you are alone. You can't be in a community and ecosystem that is growing and it will not impact on you. That's why the Bible says, You should not miss the. the, the Gathering of prayer. It's not because so that they, they can be attendance. Just, listen, the angels are more than human beings. If God is talking about attendance, they are the ones that are in attendance. But growth is an echo. You can't grow alone. Oh. You can't grow alone. You can't grow alone. <laughs> if you want me to I'm modulating. <laughs> no one and grow in isolation it's not possible you can't grow go and read the book of the whole world and get all the information if there is no platform to test your information you can't grow it's about it's an ecosystem for those of you that escape ecology in school let me remind you what is an ecosystem 
An ecosystem is a geographic area where plants, animals, and other organisms, as well as weather and landscape, work together to form a body of life. That means if your enemy is not part, if an antagonist is not part of your ecosystem, you can't grow. Enemies are part of the ecosystem that brings growth. Discomforts, hardship, are part of the interactions on the ecosystem that brings growth. You can't grow in your house. You can't grow in your office alone. You can't grow alone. You can't grow alone. You can't grow alone. You can't grow alone. The same way you can't go alone. If you go alone and you grow alone, you will groan alone. You can't grow. It's an ecosystem. The maker's church is an ecosystem. We interact with chairs. How many of you that sitting here this morning did not interact with the chair you sat with? Sat on. Tell me. All of you interacted with each other. Because if there's no interaction with each other, it will not allow you to sit on it. Your comfort, sitting comfortable now is the definition of interaction with your chair. You have a relationship with each chair. Isn't it? There's a relationship with our AC. It's not about human being alone. Get a community. Join. That's why I'm not yet satisfied with choose it. Pastor Jeremy, I'm not yet satisfied with choose it. Choose it is not a Sunday school. It's an ecosystem. It's, it's a community for interactions that is beyond Sunday. How are you doing? How are you doing? Around, uh, is it 11 or last night? Someone called me and said, he said, Pastor, how are you? He prayed and prayed and prayed for you. Ah. I said, um, I said, um, he said, do you know who's speaking? I said, no, sir. I said, my name is Oluwatui. I said, okay, sir. I'm trying to fix it. Okay. He said, um, it's a small boy you brought from redemption camp that I lighted. I, I said, ah, daddy. He said, ah, no, 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 no. Are you home now? I said, yes, I'm home. okay. I just want to pray for you and hear your voice. Wow. So missionary to Nietzsche. So I was going to stay at Abuli Egba, so I doubled her. Another person sent me a long message. Said, Pastor, it's nice meeting you. It's a, I met quite a number. To tell you it's an ecosystem. Someone just called me said, Ah, said prof. I saw that they added you to our group. Are you coming for our are you going to be in, in our meeting? Are you going to be in the conference? I said, ah, wait a minute. You I said, I didn't even check the people that uh, you had, uh, ah, Bishop. Ah, okay. Listen. Burnout is not necessary over work. Burnout can be doing too much on what is not right. Or being in a wrong community. When you are speaking intelligently, that decoding you foolishly it becomes a stress to you it's an ecosystem the term echo refers to a part of a world and system resides to coordinating units an ecosystem is a community of organisms now i decided to go to to search for the term financial ecosystem financial ecosystem financial ecosystem refers to the interconnected network of various entities systems and processes that contribute to functioning of the financial industry that means you can't even grow financially if you're not in the right financial ecosystem you can't grow so some of us we are not growing because financially because it's not that we can't be rich or we can't have money because but the ecosystem the community we have we can't grow because it doesn't provide opportunities. It doesn't do this. You don't. Uh, they don't need your services. They don't need your this thing. You know that's why. That's why. No matter how you criticize me, I will continue to do what I'm supposed to do because I'm only doing it for you. 
I'm also fulfilling an agenda. When you are doing well, many of you want me to lock you in the spirit, but your lock in the spirit does not make any sense to me. It does not benefit anything. But I want you to be spiritual and be relevant physically. That's why we will not stop talking about success. We won't stop talking about financial problems because that's what you, if you want to be spiritual hundred percent, die and go and meet the angels. See, if you don't eat for three days or four days and you come to church and you you fall down in church, you are a, what's that my teaching? Vicarious liability. You become we we take responsibility of your liability. That's why you must make sure you eat. And we don't have food to give you, we must show you how to eat. We are building an ecosystem that is not only a spiritual place. Now, I said, what is spiritual ecosystem? A spiritual ecosystem is a relationship between spirituality, spirituality, people, culture, resources, and the environment. It recognizes that our ecological and environmental challenges are not just physical or material in nature, but also our deep spiritual and ethical dimensions. You are not just building a church of spirits. We are human in this church. And everything that pertains to life and godliness. Life. So that means you must make it. Oh, I so much. Um, I don't know. Somebody told me that somebody was appreciating, appreciating them. I think the person is not in the church again. I can't remember what to say. They're appreciating them for what the church did to me on my birthday. Do you get that? Somebody that's not part of you is appreciating what you did for me during my birthday. So if an outsider, because they choose to be outside anyway because they left the church, is appreciating that, how much more do you think me will appreciate it? However, that's not the best. Higher men told me that I should accept this from them. But by the grace of God, it is car they will give me. Uh, you think I won't pray for them? I will pray so that they can give me car. <laughs> I imagine one day I'm coming to church and I get to, and I say, ah. I was trying, Pastor Smith, uh, where's testimony? Who parking? Who park the car here? Who told the park? And they have parked Prado, 2024. There, they covered the number. I mean, I was angry that they park in my parking space. I never know that is substitution by elimination. That's the kind of thing I think of. I don't think that you should die. I think that you should prosper so that I will prosper. Your death does not hurt to my account. It's your living and your prosperity that makes me succeed. So I choose my battle wisely. It's an ecosystem. As you are seated, you should sit beside MD or chairman uh, or an executive in Chevron. In Chevron or Shell. And you are saying, God, give me job or I will die. Sir. Come down, come down, come down, come down. Ah, sir, you can't understand. I'm so far. I said, okay, but you are making. Ah, there's no way I should go. It's God. I'll talk. To, okay, don't bother talk to God. Take my card. Come and see me in the office tomorrow. You get job. Is that no? Is that is that not a good ecosystem? I said, the Pastor Smith. We will officially launch. Aga, is it Aga, man? Aga Properties. As was meant, I've started real estate, celebrating. Uh, go and buy land. So I'm saying this so you can pay me for the adverts. That's my joy. You don't get it. Out of the abundance of your heart. So I don't have, it's an ecosystem. I want, I want men to be so much in this church 
that the numbers of single ladies will be reducing. Uh, I want single ladies also to increase, but I want men to increase more. Because if they are increasing and they are coming to take them from outside, it will be paying me. So, men, update. Uh -huh. Talk to that sister beside you. Marry her tomorrow. I will join you. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Susan. But uh, you can't hear. So, talk to Susan and go and see Mommy Bikule for counseling. And tomorrow evening, you do wedding. So we grow in our ecosystem. Do you know why you are not growing? You are in a community that is not growing. That's why I'm after everything that has to suggest grow to you in the Maker's Church. Even though we are financially constrained, but we we'll still get there. Yeah, we will still get there. As long as we are not stopping. That everyone that is connected, is it unto he that is joined to the living, there is hope. So growth is growth is within what? An ecosystem. Growth is within an ecosystem. I've been alone for too, for, for too long. Just yesterday alone. Just yesterday alone. I had um I had a, um I was invited, I had an invitation in Badagri. Badagri, twelve uh August twelve twelve to fifteen, sixteen, something like the same August. Invited me to the national cup call, and they said there's one uh, listen. And suddenly, Prophet suddenly, and I started saying, ah, "Okay, let me check my schedule." Mm -hmm. And suddenly, because so I now know why when you tell somebody that you want to, they say, oh, "Okay, let me, I'll get back to you." Let me. Get, it's not right. Uh, it's because I was not busy. That's why I thought I, saw, I thought it was right. So I need to check, and that the first of of August, I am hosting all the youth pastors and youth presidents in Alagule here, all in Makers Church. Put your hands together for Jesus. I, I am the youth coordinator of Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria, Alagule chapter. And mommy told me that I should, I should still uh, hold on. Oh, that, uh, and I've put. Uh, God will help us, man. That's why I have able men. 31st of August in the Maker's Church. Now, what is happening now is the Maker's Church is having more visibility. Visibility. I mean, pastors, youth uh, leaders and presidents and the executive. I'm hosting all of them. I call it uh, breakfast. What did I call it? Uh, breakfast meeting. Inaugural breakfast meeting. 17, the Maker's Church, 77 structure, 79. I like Bole. And they started saying, ah, hey, past one of them called me today now. By 12.30, I must be in one church. Where is Eben? They told me that uh, Eben knows the church. They, said, they called me, they said, Pastor, please, we want you to do this. And uh, I said, I will come. So, men, when it is 10.30, ah, they suit me, they suit me. <laughs> Hallelujah. I want, let's lift our voice to heaven this morning and say, Lord, I want to grow. I don't want to continue as a child. In the name of Jesus, create everything, everything, the community that I need and that needs me. Lord, take me there. You are, you are, you are, you are living more in woe because you are living alone. Nobody grows alone. And anyone that is not growing is a child. That's what the scripture says. And woe to the city that is king is a child. I want you to speak to God this morning. I want you to speak to God this morning. I want you to speak to God this morning. I want you to speak to God. Father, thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name, Lord. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Hallelujah.